will still hear me okay? Lovely. Okay. Uh, so today we're going to have a light-hearted and playful practice um, just to bring a little bit of levity now that we're quite a few weeks into this very weird situation. Uh, so uh, we're going to start as we always do with our breathing exercises. So take a seat on the mat, make yourself comfy. Press the hands on the knees, close your eyes, maybe take a few little shoulder strokes and shake the head side to side and just settle in. Maybe lift the sitting bones one arm and the other off the ground, take a rocking motion just to get comfy. Okay, and so we are going to begin by really trying to connect with our noisy and jai breathing today. So close your eyes, begin to inhale and exhale through the nose. Just start by really listening to your breathing. So can you hear the air coming in and out of your nostrils? Can you hear like a whooshing noise? Maybe you can hear it like in your ears and your nose. Now to engage our ujjayi breath, we're going to gently narrow the back of the throat. So that our breath becomes more audible. So it's almost like you're trying to fog up a mirror with your breath, but that you're using your nose. So the inhales are like a sigh. The exhales sound like ha. This ujjayi breath is translated as victory breath. It's also known as ocean breath because it should sound like the waves of the ocean. So just take a few more rounds of breath like this in your own time and try to really listen to that audible joy sound. Now gently blink the eyes open and come into your tabletop position with hands directly below the shoulders, fingers spread out on the mat, knees directly below the hips, you can release the tops of the feet to the mat. We're going to take our cat cow pose. So inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin, point the nose to the navel. And again, inhale, drop the belly, look up, broaden collarbones. Exhale, empty the belly, curl the spine, and push the ground away. Inhale, look up. Exhale, curl. Inhale, flex the lower back, broadening the chest, looking up towards the sky. 
and exhale. Really push that ground away from you as you curl the spine, curl the pelvis under. A couple more like this in your own time, in your own breathing. And then come back to stillness. And from here, you can just take a few wiggles with your bum from side to side, like you're a dog wagging your tail. You may even want to circle your bum, circle your hips. You can go one way and then the other. Just get nice and wiggly on your mat. Come to stillness, tuck the toes under, and hover those knees off of the ground. Just engage the quads, and then step the feet back about a foot, so that you're in that high plank position. From here, you can bend the knees deeply, send the belly to the tops of the thighs, and let the hips lift up to the ceiling your first downward dog. You can bend one knee, straighten the other, and switch from side to side as you pedal out the feet. Spreading those fingertips onto the mat. Soft bend in the elbows, biceps by the ears. You can let your legs become still and wag that tail again. It might even feel fun just to let the right foot float up into the sky. You can just circle the foot, maybe even cock your leg, place it back down on the mat. Let left foot float up to the sky, wiggle that foot around any way that feels good. Cock your knee up, place it back on the mat. And finally, we let the heels descend to the ground and exhale. Extending the hamstrings to the back of the mat. Now take a look at those hands. Inhale, and walk the feet to meet the hands at the top of the mat. Keep your knees bent, take a hold of opposite elbows, and just sway side to side in this forward fold. Just hanging like a rag doll. Keeping a soft bend in the knees. Now well, you can reach the hands to the mat. And maybe work to extend those hamstrings again. Let your crown of the head reach down to the ground. Inhale, take hands to hips and curl all the way up to standing. Head is last. From here, we're going to take a couple of little yoga jumps just to get some of that stagnant, stale energy out of our bodies. So it's a little bit like squat jumps, but not quite as athletic. So we're going to inhale, sit back into our invisible chair, take our hands out in front. Exhale, stand up straight, swoop the hands behind us. Next time, we're going to inhale, take the bum down. Exhale, stand up straight, sweep the hands and maybe a little jump. Inhale down. Exhale, sweep and jump. Inhale down. Exhale, jump. Inhale down. Exhale, jump. Inhale down. Exhale, jump. One more. Really exaggerate the hands and jump. Throw that energy away. Inhale down. Exhale, jump. Inhale down. Exhale, jump. Fantastic. Okay, come back to stillness and we're going to do our sun salutations. We're going to start with some half sun salutations. So I'll stay straight on. Inhale, reach the hands up to the sky, palms touch, look up. Exhale, fold forward, bend at the knees if you need to. Hands come to the shins or the floor. Inhale, straighten up, nice flat back. Exhale, fold all the way down. 
Inhale, sweep the hands all the way up to standing, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. And again, inhale, reach the palms, look up. Exhale, fold, hands to the shins or the mat. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, swoop the hands up, reach up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. And again, inhale, reach the hands, palms touch, look up. Exhale, hinging at the hips, swan dive forward. Take that half bend, the half straighten, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the palms all the way up. Now we're going to come into our full sun salutation. So exhale, fold into the mat. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot back, drop the back knee. Inhale, reach palms overhead. Palms touch, look up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back, lower all the way down onto your belly. Point the toes. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest. Baby cobra. Exhale, head to the mat. Tuck the toes, inhale up into your high plank, and exhale back into downward dog. Step right foot forward, drop the back knee, inhale, reach hands overhead, palms touch, look up. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, lower down. Point the toes, lift the chin, lift the chest, baby cobra. Exhale, head to the mat. Tuck the toes under. Push up into your high plank and exhale back into downward dog. We're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. Look at the hands, walk your feet to your hands, sit the bum back into your invisible chair. Inhale, reach the hands overhead. Exhale, hands to the mat. Left foot steps back this time, drop the left knee. Inhale, reach the hands overhead, palms touch. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, lower down. Point the toes, inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest for cobra. Exhale, head to the mat. Tuck the toes, push the ground away, inhale into back. Exhale, send those hips back to downward dog. Left foot steps forward, drop the back knee. Inhale, reach hands overhead, palms touch. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, lower down. Point the toes, lift the chin, lift the chest, cobra. Exhale, head to the mat, tuck the toes, inhale into that high plank. Exhale, back into downward dog and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Look at your hands. Walk your feet towards your hands, bend the knees deeply, sit back into that invisible chair, swoop the hands up, palms by the ears, and this time we're going to come up onto our feet. And we're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. Take the heel back to the mat, hinge at the hips, hang forward, and take a forward fold here. You can keep those knees soft. This time, if you're able to do so, you can take a hold of the ankles or even take peace fingers around big toes, bend the elbows, and draw the crown of the head towards the mat, looking between the legs. Few more moments here. Then release your hands, take them to your hips. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Shoulders back and down. We're going to do our half moon pose. So take right hand up into the sky and send the hips over to the right. Reaching that right hand to the left. Big stretch in the side body. Keep that right shoulder back and down. 
and shine that chest forward. You can slide left hand down the side of the left thigh. Inhale, come back to centre. Exhale, release. Inhale, left arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, push the hips over to the left. Reach left hand over to the right. Slide right hand down the outside of the right thigh. Draw the belly in. Hug the thigh bones with the quad muscles. Reach through those fingers. Keep that hand active. Push those hips a little further to the left. Inhale, come back to standing. Exhale, release the hand. Place the hands on the lower back. Fingers point down like you're sliding them into your jeans pockets. Inhale, shoulders back and down. Lift the chin and look up to the ceiling. Exhale, draw the belly in. And with care, push the hips forward. Making a little back bend here. Because see me while you have to really have your own back in this posture. So with care and control, push those hips forward and lean back. Inhale, come up to standing. And exhale, fold forward. You can release those hands now. And just take a second here. Just a little forward fold this time. Inhale, back up to standing. We're going to repeat half moon pose. This time we're going to take our feet out a little wider than hip width apart. So then outer edges of the mat, if you're standing with the mat length face. Inhale, reach hands overhead, interlace fingers and point index fingers up to the sky. Biceps and back by the ears. Once again, we're going to lean over to the right and send our hips to the left. Draw that left shoulder back and down. You can really engage those core muscles, equal weight in both feet. Inhale back to center. Exhale, other side. Big stretch in the side of the body. Tone up those thighs. Keep that chest shining forward. Inhale back to center. Take hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, palms squeeze together, shoulder blades squeeze together, inhale, look up, and exhale, hinging at the hips, send that chin towards the ground, hands will float overhead, keep a little soft bend in your elbows, and you'll be able to squeeze those palms together and use the muscles in your arms. You can release the interlacing of the fingers. Take the hands down to your ankles, bend your knees deeply if you need to. We come into this kind of sumo wrestler position. So you might want to heel toe your feet out a little wider. You can just start to bend one knee and then the other, shifting your weight from side to side as we work into those hips down in this goddess posture. Good. Come to stillness in the center. Bend those knees deeply and send the bum back. So rather than the bum sent knee down to the ground, which is shooting from the side, you want that bum to send back. So you've got a nice straight back. Inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, take them out in front of you. So you should be able to balance a teacup on your back here. Inhale, straighten those legs, push through the ground, reach the hands overhead. Exhale, hands to the sides of the body. Keeping the feet where they are, we're going to take some goddess pose with lion face. So lion face, this is all about our playful, fun yoga today. It's where we open the mouth, stick out the tongue, make a ferocious face. And when we do that, we exhale all that kind of stale, stagnant air out and we make a big, audible ha ah, sound. So what we're going to do is we're going to inhale all together now, reach the hands overhead. Exhale, bend those knees back into that goddess pose. Ah. Inhale, reach the hands up, circle them up over you. 
exhale, cactus the hands, bend the knees, <sighs> lion pose. One more, inhale, reaching up overhead, and lion face. <sighs> we'll do two more like this. So inhale, reach up, be ferocious. <sighs> Last one now, you can be as foolish as you want because you're in your house. Inhale, reach up, exhale. <sighs> Fantastic. Let's keep that bum down. Keep those knees bent. Take your hands to your thighs. We're going to drop right out our right shoulder length. Can we look up over our left shoulder for a little twist? Inhale back to centre. Drop left shoulder into the middle. Look up over the right shoulder. Inhale back to centre. And come all the way back up to standing. Brilliant. Give those feet a little shake. Just reorientate yourself on the mat. Strong back in the thighs there. Our next playful pose is our balancing posture. We're going to take just simple tree pose today. We're going to give lots of options so that we can have a play around in this pose. So we're going to bring all of our weight into our left leg. We're going to pick right foot off of the floor. Now options here, as always, is to just keep right toe on the mat or place it onto the inside of the calf. Or if our balance and flexibility is feeling good today, you can take your hand and help right foot place it on the inside of left thigh. Draw that knee back. Pull that standing hip in. Foot to the thigh, pressing with equal force. Now, if you found that gaze point, that little speck on the mat or the wall, you can inhale, reach your hands up overhead. Exhale, extend your branches. Can you sway your branches from side to side? Maybe. Can you turn and look around the room? Swirl your arms around. So those are some options for our hands. Some options for our feet. Perhaps we can take a hold of our foot, bend the knee deeply, and rest the foot on the thigh. Maybe even keep a hold of the foot with the opposite other hand, and then reach right hand up to the sky. Fantastic. Maybe even take that hand that was up in the sky, send it around your back, grab a hold of the left upper arm. Very good. Practice patience in these balancing postures and return to them if you wobble out. Okay, now release with care. Take your hands down to the side, place your foot on the mat. Give that uh, left foot a little shake. We're going to do the other side. So shift all of your weight into your right leg. Your left foot either points to the ground, rests on right calf, or with a little help, push it into the inside of the right thigh. Centre yourself. Use that gaze point. Draw the bend knee back. Pull that standing hip in. Inhale, reach your hands over the head. Exhale, extend your branches. If your balance is good today, maybe you can sway your hands from side to side. Maybe you can swirl your hands like a tree in a storm. Depending on weather, with that focus and concentration. Now, release the hands. Balance is good. Grab a hold of that left foot. Rest it. Right thigh. You can keep it there with the left hand. Reach right arm up to the sky. Take a few seconds here. And then, if it feels good for you today, you can take that. Right hand round the back, grab a hold of your left upper arm. Just 
broadening the collarbones and release with care and control. Foot comes back to the mat. Give the feet a little shake. So, and actually give the shoulders a little roll as well because if you've taken that bind around the back, it's quite strong work in the shoulders and the chest. So we're going to come into our wide-legged postures now and everybody is pointing in different directions and have screens in different places. So we're just going to do what we can. So take the feet four to five feet apart, toes pointing ever so slightly, ground the feet into the mat. Inhale, reach the hands up to shoulder height. And exhale, send the chest forward, swan diving. Take the hands like you did before over to the shins or the ankles or maybe peace fingers wrap around big toe. We're going to work here in Prasari to variation two. So if you let your crown of your head reach down towards the mat. I'm just going to take a look at how we're going to do it. Really good. So you can have a little soft bend in the knees to ensure that you're not hyperextending from your joints. If you bend deeply and your fingers are around your toes, you can bend your elbows out to the side, draw on those feet to get the crown of the head a little closer to the earth. Very good. From here, you can take your hands to the mat, just in the centre, below your face. Just see where you come to today. You might have piano fingers if the mat feels far away. If you reach easily, you can start to walk the hands back in line with the feet, bend the elbows back through the legs. Work where you are today. To take a few moments in these forward folds to let the hamstrings open up. So we reconnect with that jolly breathing. And then take the hands from the hips. Inhale, curl all the way up to standing. Bend the knees if you need to. Push through the feet. We're going to come into our warrior two pose now. So it may be that you can turn the right toes out. Or you might need to rejig yourself slightly, but we're going to work on our right hand side and then we're going to swap over and work on our left hand side. So, right foot is pointing forward and it is in line with the middle of left foot. Mary, I'm sorry. Bend right knee deeply. Just check that you can see big toe. If you can't, you might need to uh, widen your stance a little. Inhale, shoulder height with the hands, reaching through those fingers, gazing down the middle from your right hand. Take a few moments here in warrior two. With every inhale, drawing energy through the feet. With every exhale, descending the groin closer to the earth. Equal weight on both feet. Make sure that back hand is up as high as the front hand. Chin is level. Release left hand to the back left thigh. Spin right hand so the palm faces the ceiling. And reach up overhead for reverse warrior. And just be mindful of that left knee. Overextend, reach up and back. Release the hand, interlace fingers behind the back, squeeze the palms together once more, shoulders draw in towards each other, and exhale, send the torso towards the ground, leaning over, front leg 
and to rise up in front, up in the sky, for humble warrior. Release the hands, frame the foot, and you can spin the hips so they're pointing in the same direction as your front foot. Drop the left knee down to the mat. Inhale, come upright with the body. Take the hands to heart centre, palms touch. We're going to take left elbow and place it on the outside of the right knee for a lunge twist. I'm just going to take a look at the ball. So you should be taking left elbow to the outside and right knee. So Mike, you need to take your other elbow to the outside of the knee. Beautiful. Your right elbow is pointing up to the sky. If you're feeling strong in your legs today, you can lift the left knee off the ground. Maybe even release left hand down to the mat on the inside of right foot. Reach right hand up to the sky. Now we're going to take that right hand back to the foot. And we can either drop the knees or we can step back into our plank. And then we're going to lower down like we did in our sun salutations. Point the toes and inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest. We can take a full cobra this time and up to the sky. Now, if you want a little rest, you can take your child's pose or we can vinyasa here. Exhale the head down to the mat, tap the toes and inhale back into our plank. Exhale into our downward dog. And then walk our hands towards, uh, walk our feet towards our hands. Come up to standing. And then we're going to do the other side. So you want to be leading with your left foot this time. So turn whichever way you need to. So your left foot and your face are pointing towards your screen. Inhale your hands to shoulder height, reaching through the fingertips. Wide legged stance. Bend that left knee, check the foot, can you see the big toe? If not, you need to take your stance a little wider or lean your body back. Gaze down that middle finger, drawing energy through the earth, strong in the feet, strong in the legs. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Take right hand and place it on the back of right thigh. Flip left hand so the palm faces up. Reach left arm up overhead. Sink back down. You can look up at the ceiling for reverse warrior. Reconnect with that jai breath. Release the hand, interlace fingers behind the back, squeeze the palms together, shoulder blades draw in. Inhale, look up at the ceiling, exhale, hinging at the hips, fold over that bent knee for humble warrior. Hands will float up into the sky. Release the hands, frame the foot with them, drop the right knee down onto the mat, square the hips so they're pointing the same direction as the left foot. And you can release the, the uh, top of the right foot onto the mat if you need to. Inhale up into an upright position, hands to heart centre. Right elbow comes to the outside of the left knee. 
palms squeeze together, left elbow points to the sky. Lunge twist. If you're feeling strong today, you can tuck the toes under on that right foot, lift right knee off of the mat. Push through that right heel. Try not to collapse the belly onto the bent leg. Release the hand, so right hand comes to the mat inside of the left foot, left hand reaches up to the ceiling. Release that hand, frame the foot again. Once again, options here, you can take a child's pose or you can step back into your plank, lower down, belly comes to the mat, toes point. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest for a cobra, look up. Exhale, head to the mat. Inhale, push up into your plank and exhale back into your downward dog. So you can take a few moments here in downward dog or resting in your child's pose, which is big toes touch, knees out, bum rests on the feet. And again, in this resting posture, you can pedal, you can sway your body side to side, you can wiggle the hips, just be playful from here. Now, if you're in downward dog, I want you to come down into this child's pose as well. So everybody's going to meet here. Take a few breaths. And then walk the hands towards the body. We're going to sit our bums on the mat. And the mat seems to have migrated, so I'm just going to shut it back into shot. So we're going to work our core here because we're going to approach either a supported shoulder stand or a half shoulder stand or a little sequence and plow. So it's really important that we warm up our core muscles and our lower back. So we're going to warm up our core muscles in boat. So take the hands to the backs of the thighs. And inhale, lift the feet off the ground. Exhale, extend the hands outside of the legs. We're going to hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now you can release. For those people who've got really strong cores, we're going to stay here. And you can repeat this posture again. Or we're going to start to lower our feet, lower our back onto the mat so that we're hovering for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, come all the way back up, cross the legs, sit back up, hands never touch the mat, right? From here, feet are going to come flat on the floor. And we're going to lie our backs down on the mat. We're going to take our bridge pose. So you can shuffle the feet in towards the bum. Fingers should be able to tickle the backs of your heels. Tuck the chin in for a nice double chin. And inhale, lift the bum, lift the hips, lift the back off the ground. You might be able to shuffle shoulders in, interlace fingers ground for the outsides of the wrists into the mat. As you push through the feet, let those hips rise up towards the sky. Try to keep your knees tracking directly in line with your ankles.
and you can release the hands, take the backs of the hands to the mats outside the body and just let the uh, body uncurl one vertebrae at a time, returning to the ground. And just take a moment here just to hug the knees into the body, interlace fingers around the shins, take it rock from side to side. And then we're just going to roll like the ball a couple of times to bring ourselves back up into that seated position. So I'm going to, oh yes, I can see you rocking, rolling like a ball. So I'm going to show you what uh, we're about to approach. So just watch me for a moment as I demonstrate and show you what different options we've got today. So we're going to begin, as we did before, with our feet flat on the mat and our knees bent. We're going to have either our cushion or our block to hand. We're going to take that little bridge pose. We're going to place our cushion or our block just underneath our left back. We can just let the backs of our hands rest on the mat, draw our knees in towards our belly, extend our legs, and this is our half shoulder stand. So if we're not tired, or not a fan of kind of dynamic inversions, we can stay here. But keep that playfulness in mind. You might want to pedal the feet. You might want to take soles of the feet together. You might want to swirl the legs. You can just hang out here and play around. If this feels okay for you, the next step is to start that rolling and rocking motion again, but with the feet this time. And when the feet are coming really far overhead, you're going to let the hips rise up off of the floor and take the hands to the lower back so that you're in this supported posture. And it may be that we can get into full plow pose so that our toes are touching the mat or the ground above our head. So that's where we're all going to work. So everybody come to that position now with the soles of the feet flat on the mat, knees bent, lying back with our prop underneath our lower back. And I'm going to watch you all to make sure that this is being done with care. Okay. So for those that like to just hang out in supported shoulder stand, just let those feet float off of the mat and you can just take your time to play around. For those that want to work a little harder, you might be able to support the lower back with your hands, extend the feet out, the toes will come to the mat or the ground above your head. You're all in completely different places today and that is fantastic. So when the feet touch the mat, Behind you, that is plow pose. So everybody take a minute just where they are now. Re-engage with that breathing because it can feel quite strange breathing in these inversions. One more round of breath here. Wherever you are, care, you're going to sort of push into those feet if they're touching the ground, or if they're just hovering, you're going to shift the weight in the hips, and you're going to very gently lower that back, lower that bum, put the brakes on so you're going slowly, everything's going to come back in contact with the mat just as it left it, and then feet flat on the floor, you can lift your bum up, and remove that prop, place it to one side. So we're all back in the same place that we were, with our feet flat on the mat, knees bent. Now from here, we're going to take our happy baby pose. So knees come back in towards the chest, and then they come out to the side, toes touch for a moment, send the hands between the legs, Grab a hold of the ankles, big toes, or outer edges of the feet. So you're like a baby playing with its feet. 
from there, you're going to lift the feet so that they are in line with the knees. Just take a few moments on every inhale, you're kind of flexing the feet. Heels are stacking above the knees. On every exhale, you're drawing those knees down towards the mat. Now, with this playfulness in mind, if you have enough room in your space today, you can start to straighten one leg and then the other. It doesn't have to go all the way straight. Just play around with moving your feet in this happy baby posture. Maybe pedaling through the legs. Keep those knees out nice and wide, wherever you are and whatever movement you're taking. Now, we're going to rock and roll again in this happy baby posture. So rolling backwards and forwards on the spine. And before we come out of this pose today, we're going to rock and roll our way out of it. So the next time that you roll to the top, you're going to engage the core, put brakes on again, and stop at the top with the feet still in the air. Yes, well done everybody. And release the feet to the mat if you've come up. Yes, all that core cool work, all that boat paid off. Fantastic. Now we're going to take a seated twist just to work off that air. Uh, Strong work in the back bend and plow. So take a right foot and place it just in front of your left uh, thigh on the mat. And take left foot and put it outside of right knee so it's crossing over. If you want to, if you have a block, you might find it useful actually to sit on the block just to lift the hips up. Reach your right heart, arm up to the sky and take right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Left hand comes to the mat just behind your bum. Piano the fingers into the ground so that we're not collapsing. Keep that spine nice and tall and long. Look over left shoulder. For those that want to bend the twist a little deeper, you can point that right hand down to the mat and see if you can bring your right shoulder on the top of right hand, and uh, top of right arm, sorry, a little further in front of your left thigh. Feeling a deep twist in that left glute and quad. Another twist in the abdomen. Inhale back to centre. Going to change the sides now. So left foot comes, rests on the mat in front of right thigh, right thumb cheek. Right foot placed in uh, outside of left knee. Reach the left arm up to the ceiling and take the left arm to the outside of right knee. Gazing over right shoulder, right hands, piano the fingers into the mat, close to the back, twisting through the abdomen. On every inhale, lengthening through the spine. On every exhale, empty the belly of air, draw the stomach in towards the back, gazing over that right shoulder. you want to, you can take that left hand and point it down towards the ground. Maybe reach left shoulder in front of right thigh. So just millimetre by millimetre increasing that twist. Inhale back to centre. 
release that block if you've got it. We're going to take our feet out in front. Uh, you can keep a nice, soft bend in the knees. Legs are straight. Ankles and big toe joints touch. Legs are toes, so they're not pointing towards the ceiling. And inhale, draw the belly in, shoulders back and down. Get as tall as you can in the seated posture for star pose. So before we do any folding forward into partial body last, we want a nice straight spine. So you have a little soft bend in that knee. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Very slowly lean forward. You can walk your hands alongside your feet, alongside your legs, and just see where they come to. You might need a little rest on the shins, the ankles, maybe you'll catch an outer edge of the feet. The most important thing in this Hatha Asana is a nice straight back belly resting on the tops of the thighs. With every exhale, you can drape your torso over your extended legs, eventually bringing forehead to shins. Just work wherever you are today. Feeling that deep stretch in the backs of the hamstrings and the calves. Let your neck be relaxed. Try to keep shoulders away from the ears. Very gently. Come back to an upright seated position. And you're going to lie all the way down on your mat. Now we're going to counter the shoulder balance that we did earlier in the plow pose by taking a fish pose. So take the backs of the hands to the mat, just resting with five sides of the and take your feet out so they're about hip width apart, legs are straight, calves are resting on the ground. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift the chin, lift the head, and if it feels okay in your neck, you're going to place the crown of your head onto the mat. So your shoulders might come off of the mat, your chest might come off of the mat. And you're just resting the crown of the head, and this is called fish pose. And take a look so you can feel that it's straight, uh, stretching your throat, maybe. Just a few moments here. And inhale, release very gently. Take the back of the head and the back and the shoulders down to the mat, tuck the chin in so that you've got a nice neutral spine again. And from here we're going to bend the knees, take the soles of the feet together, just let those knees flop out to the side, the outer edges of the feet are resting on the mat, and inhale we'll reach the hands overhead, backs of the hands are resting on the mat, our head. The elbows will just flop out to the side as well. Arms can be bent. Just resting in this restorative reclined bound angle pose.
can extend the feet out so the legs are straight. Rest those legs on the mat. Take the arms by the sides of the body again. Backs of the hands to the mat. Fingers in a gentle curl. We're going to take our final posture now. Samasana. So, in the spirit of playfulness, have a really good fidget. As we're lying on the mat, you can flick all the energy out of your hands, shake your feet, shake your legs, shake your head from side to side, maybe tap the mat, do whatever you need to do to get all those little niggles and fidgets out of you. And once you've released all that excess energy, inhale deeply, take a big audible sigh through the mouth, exhale, another one like that, inhale deeply, Exhale, sighing out the mouth. Last one, inhale deeply. Exhale. And then gently close the mouth. Close the eyes. Settle back down. Melting into the mat. You can let go of that Ujjayi breath. Just let the breath be natural, flowing in and out. gently now, bring awareness back into 
your body to move your fingers and your toes roll your head from side to side lick your lips, lick your teeth bring the feet together so they're touching and we inhale, reach the hands overhead for a big full body stretch exhale, roll over onto your right hand side curling up into your position, face the head, bring the arms and then the hands. The eyes still closed, push yourself up into a seated position. Take the hands to heart centre, tuck the chin, blink the eyes open. Namaste everybody, thank you.